What the tiefling is going on here? Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. Yeah, I'm doing another one from Deerstalker Pictures. One for all series, D&D, the classical comedy adventures of our favorite group of nerds. Remember what I used to say, our plucky three adventures? The group of amazing performers and characters and actors and and um, the creative people behind the scenes. It's more than just three plucky adventurers. It's an entire Australian army of love. But what happens when you come across the forces of evil? What happens when you come across those who don't understand, who won't let you be who you are and try to hold you down? When the man holds you down, what do you do? Do you fight back? Well, let's find out what they do. This is... Uh, Old School Nerd reacting to uh, Deerstalker Pictures, One for All D&D, Wild Magic Search. Nixie! Ugh, really? Another accidental fireball. This is the wrong kingdom to be accused of casting spells. Cleric's back! Yeah. Arson! Murder! Magic! <gasps> Are they trying to get sued for Marvel? Really? Disney will sue your ass, bro. This right here? That'll get you in trouble. I mean, just saying. By the way, uh, question. Um, and I just want to ask this question. What the fuck, Kendall? Did a bee sting you on your nose? Because that, I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Oh, it was her. It was that pink tiefling. Whoa. <laughs> when you say pink tiefling, do you mean this pink tiefling? Yes. Who else would I be talking about? Is Did she hiccup? This tiefling isn't pink. She's blue. What? 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 So, I'm blue now. Wild magic search. Wild what now? You know the definitely cursed item I told you not to touch? Well, when you picked it up, it awoke all the latent wild magic energy inside of you, and now you can't control it anymore. Well, Nixie, you blew it. Now we're all gonna dub a D, dub a die. <gasps> a crime has been committed. One of you shall answer. See? I told you, it was that blue one who could cast spells. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> yep, it was me. Aren't we all just great spellcasters? We're looking for wizards, not conjurers of cheap tricks. I'm a cleric. Religious immunity. Really? Hey! Hey! We came to this fine city of yours, and this is how you treat us! Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? No. This is democracy manifest. Very well. There will be a trial. No, no, no. Don't try to worm your way out of this one. I know it was that blue woman. Did you say woman? What? 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 How dare you, sir? I am an honest male person, man, and I pee standing up. <laughs> blue man, blue woman, what does it matter? I know it was one. Wait a minute. Stop. I feel attacked. I feel attacked. As a man, he, him pronouns, who was raised by a beautiful mother with two sisters, engaged to a woman with three daughters, I haven't peed standing up in 22 years. I feel labeled <laughs> and I feel hurt. It's true though. It's impossible to get in trouble 
for not putting the seat down or for putting urine anywhere on the toilet. If you use the restroom the same way they do, therefore, they can't look at you. So I've never been blamed for that, ever. Now, my socks, damn. But that, no, blameless. As whitely innocent as this t-shirt is. I know. But still, I feel like I've been labeled by Nixie now. Okay, I'm over it. Standing up. Blue man, blue woman, what's the matter? I know it was one of those blue people. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, blue people? Yeah, what do you mean, blue? I knew it. I knew she was going to say, what do you mean, blue people? I knew it. I knew someone was going to I thought the cleric was going to do it, but... Nixie's doing her really, really... Nixie's doing her best Papa Smurf right now. I'm gonna let it go. Blue people. What do you mean, blue people? I, I, I've got nothing against blue people. I have plenty of blue friends. And of course you, you do. you are accusing an innocent person of color of standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. Shame <laughs> on you, sir. What rhymes with unfair persecution? Okay. I'm not saying it's all blue people. But it was definitely this one. And as far as I'm concerned, she deserves to rot for eternity in the dungeons. No. What? 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 You are now a Gerber Daisy. Congratulations. Oh my golly crumpets. Did that dwarf just cast magic? Mayhaps he was a spellcaster all along. You are un the fuck, Forgely. I mean, keep it in your pants, bro. Not every role should be to seduce. I mean, it's kind of your thing, but damn, man, slow your roll. Damn. Under arrest for the unsanctioned use of magical energy. You will cease your spell casting and come with us at once. Uh, no. No, it wasn't me! It was the blue people! I'll have you know my wife is blue! And I love her so very much! I'll have you know my wife is blue. Wow. Okay. I think I like this version of Nixie better. At least she has some time for some personal growth. I'm me again! Why does everything taste like manure? I knew it was too good to be true. Hey, Nixie. Has that wild magic thing ever happened before? Hmm, just once. You know when my manor burnt down and my entire family burnt to a crisp? I don't think it's related though. I hope you find your lesson about touching mysterious magical trinkets. Oh, you mean like this one? Go! Hey! Absolutely not surprised by any of this. And it's hilarious. And, and I think with the way the world is now, I think it's important that we can take all of those things that people don't find funny and have a good time with them. I find this very derogatory to Smurfs. But again, different franchise. All right, let's see what the outtakes are. Welcome to One For All. Smash that like button and subscribe. I can't because I was taken away to the dungeons just for having a business that exploded thanks to some... Well, it's not because she's blue, but she's blue people. I hate this flower. I hate this sky. I hate the ocean. Not because they're blue. Those are unrelated. Big thanks to our Kickstarters and, and, uh, and our Patreon subscribers. And a big thanks to Screen Australia. But no thanks to this pot plant. It can burn forever in the dungeons. Wow. Want to see some wild magic? Some saying? wild magic. <laughs> oh, well, some wild magic. There's a magic. <laughs> okay. Um. Side story. Chelsea, can you come see, please? Kindle. The normal dungeon master? He was disguised as a uh, bigoted dwarf. Bigoted towards blue people. And blue things. 
That's fun. Horribly hateful. Okay, so, but he's having a loose fit, and I want you to see what the cleric does, and you will explain to them why this freaks me the hell out. Magic! Oh, well, it's a mild magic! It's a magic! <laughs> Give us more money! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, That's why you called me in here? I called you in here because when he goes on a Stark rave, she does that. That's what she does to me! <laughs> what the cleric just did to Kendall. That's literally what she has done to me. For three years now. Oh, I, yeah. It's, At it yeah. first, it started with Chewy, my, my Shih Tzu. One night, I was restless, and he was <laughs> laying next to me. And he just put his paw right on my face and went down. Well, it just has become kind of a thing where when I'm having, like, a moment where everything is just out of control, she will literally... And I stop whatever I'm doing. So the fact that this is occurring to people that we've never met in real life, literally on the other side of the world, yeah, for the exact same reason, <laughs> that means that Kindle is my spirit animal. Oh, I don't, I don't know that you want to yeah, say all that. Yeah, one hundred percent. Kindle is my spirit animal. Okay. What animal that is, I don't know. I mean, uh, look at those ears. Those are dwarf ears. You are so labeling right now. Those aren't his real ears. Thank you. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.